There is an ugly trend coming from the political and religious left that I believe is inspired by the demonic, and that is to cause hostilities between people groups, men against women, blacks against whites, Democrats against Republicans. One way this has been accomplished is to personify the worst examples of a group and project that image onto everyone in that group, then sell that exaggerated stereotype to the other side to inspire social strife between the two. In this example you're about to see, false teacher Cindy Jacobs, after declaring the rise of the women in the church, invites the, the then editor of Charisma magazine, Lee Grady, to come to the stage and on behalf of all churchmen apologize to all church women. As he grovels before the arena of thousands of women down on his knees, the matriarchal crowd vents at him in screams and shouts that sound like the hordes of hell letting loose. Just like the women marches in pink hats we see today, these women rebel against any and all male authority. You like that woman with the issue of blood. You've been hurt, maybe you're divorced, you never got your settlement, you didn't get alimony money for your kids. Amen? Some of you, you're abused by your fathers or some other man. Some of you have suffered horrible things, but tonight Jesus is here to heal you. And he wants to make you well. And Lee Grady, if you can hear me, I want you to come out. <laughs> this is Lee Grady, works with Strang Communications. And I asked him if he would come and stand in the gap for men. He's a brave man. Can you get a microphone? That's my coat. That's what? That's my coat. <laughs> that's your coat. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> Now, I want to ask you, how, if you are a woman here and you have been hurt by a man, maybe you've been beaten, you've gone through a divorce, uh, perhaps you had a very violent father, or you, know, you were a victim of incest or molested, or maybe your boyfriend got you pregnant and walked away, and you've probably tried to forgive a thousand times. Maybe you're a woman minister, and your church says you cannot preach. Maybe you can't find a place to get ordained as a woman. Or maybe you have suffered rejection. If you have suffered anything, and you know, because inside you know you're thinking that's true, I want you to stand in your feet. Would you just stand up, please? You've been hurt by a man some way, maybe in ministry, or your daddy, or someone you were married to, or a boyfriend, but you know inside you're hurting. And I've asked tonight if Lee Grady will stand in the gap. Women of God, God's going to help you forgive tonight. And if you're standing and there's a woman near you, will you just put your arms around each other? Would you do that? And you sitting, just, just tell them we love you. Now, I'm not saying we women haven't done anything bad. We have. But tonight... At the beginning of this conference, the man from Galilee is passing your way. And he's calling you out of the crowd because he just doesn't want to heal your physical body. He wants to heal your soul. And he wants you to be whole inside. Now, Holy Spirit, I thank you right now for visiting us. We bind you, Satan. You're not going to manifest. You're not going to torment them. But I thank you for the healing. on behalf of the men that hurt you. And be real specifically. Come stand out here where they can see you. Jesus. Jesus, I stand here tonight on behalf of all the men who are represented by these women in this room. And Father, I ask that you would forgive us 
as men for the way that we have mistreated and abused and looked down on and discredited and shunned. Lord, the way that we have misused a precious gift that you gave us. Lord, you gave us women to be co-heirs. We were to walk as co-heirs of the grace of Christ. And Lord, I ask that you would forgive us as men for putting our foot on, on our, our wives' necks. Lord, for, for looking down on women in our churches. Lord, for, for the abuse. Lord, not just sexual abuse, but Lord, the, the verbal and the emotional abuse. Lord Jesus, I ask now, Lord, tonight, would you just begin to pull out, Lord, all the, that it's like gauze inside of a heart wound. Lord, would you please begin to pull it out now from my sisters. Lord Jesus, release the oil of healing in my sisters tonight. Father, we are sorry. I am sorry as a man, and I, I, Lord, I repent on behalf of men, Lord, who have sexually abused the women in this room, Lord, who have actually committed incest, Lord, or other kinds of sexual abuse, Lord, for the women in this room. Lord, would you please come in your power and heal, Lord, where men have trampled and, Lord, marred, Lord, a precious, beautiful gift. Lord, would you please forgive us as husbands for looking down on our wives and treating them like second-class citizens, like they couldn't hear from God, or somehow that they were just made to be sexual objects or housekeepers. Lord, forgive us for looking at women that way. And Father, on behalf of the men in the church, God, I ask that you forgive us for looking down on women and saying that somehow they just can't hear from God the same way that men can or they just can't serve God in the same way. Lord, would you forgive us, Lord, for not giving them an opportunity to minister. Lord, one half of the church is women and yet we've, we've kept them back. Lord, we've kept them from being released into all that you had for them. Jesus. Jesus, would you strip off of us as men all this religious stuff that the church has taught us that wasn't right. Lord, release us as men from the religious strongholds that have been on our minds and that have told us that the, these certain ways that we're supposed to treat women that aren't even in the Bible. Lord, would you strip it off, off of our minds now in Jesus' name. Lord, I repent on behalf of pastors who have taught this stuff, Lord, that has beaten down and browbeaten my sisters. And Lord, they come to church and sometimes they feel abused even when they sit and listen to the preaching of the word because it's not coming from your heart because Lord your heart is for Lord to empower my sisters for ministry Lord Jesus forgive us forgive us God oh Lord let the healing flow Jesus let the healing flow Come, Lord, you are, Lord, you can go in, into the hearts of my sisters and you can pull out. Pull it out, Lord. Put out the pain. Pull out the pain in Jesus' name. Let it go, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, as the father of four little girls, Jesus, I want to see a generation of men raised up who empower, who love, who affirm women as who they are in Christ, as co-heirs of the grace of God. And Lord, I ask that you release right now into all the men who are represented in this room right now, Lord. Release that grace. Release that affirming, anointing, Jesus, that they would suddenly, Lord, it would, the religious things would come off their minds, Lord. And Father, they would be able to affirm and encourage and bless our sisters in this room in Jesus' name. Thank you.